Hello to all of my Christmas friends out there. My name is Shannon and I wanna welcome you here to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. Today, I'm hoping to be doing just what my t-shirt says, making spirits bright. I'll make sure to link my t-shirt down in the description box. You can find it in a really, really cute Etsy shop. But I'm so excited today because we're gonna be creating some of the most inexpensive projects yet. Basically, I'm providing all of you with 10 free printables. Yes, completely free. So I will have those all linked down in the description box below. Definitely check that out after this video. I'm gonna show you in this video though, how you can utilize those free printables. So let's dive into these extremely inexpensive Christmas DIYs. So of course, up first, we need to print out our printables. You can also send them off to a printing service too if you don't have one. I went ahead and printed all of mine on white cardstock. This is just from Walmart. It's about $5, you get 150 sheets, so pretty inexpensive. Next, you'll also need a paper trimmer, or I suggest a paper trimmer. It makes your projects look a little bit more finished and more professional. But if you don't have a paper trimmer, a pair of scissors works just fine too. You'll also wanna keep these handy because we will need to use those for a couple of these printables. And here is a look at several that are included down in the link below, and you can pick and choose which ones you want. We're gonna start with this one, which is a set of nine. And you can use these for different things, but I'm gonna show you how to turn these into the cutest little ornaments. Now, since these are rectangular, our paper trimmer is going to come in handy for cutting all these down nice and precisely. You just line it up with that top edge there and then run your blade across the paper and you'll have a nice clean cut. You just repeat this process until you have all nine of your pieces cut out. And then to finish these off, we're going to use these cute miniature popsicle sticks. They're only about two and a half inches long. And you get a pack of 150 of them from Hobby Lobby for only about $2.99. You can see how tiny these are. And I'm also gonna be using this tape runner. It's just from Walmart, but you can order these on Amazon. I'll try to link some of these items down in the description box if I can find them so you can purchase them online. Or as so you can see more details about them, and basically just run this tape runner along the top and bottom of your printable and apply the popsicle stick right on top of that adhesive. I'm gonna show you three different ways of how you can use these. And the first one is just the unfinished popsicle stick and then adding a piece of twine onto the back as the hanger. This is just regular twine or jute from Walmart and it's kind of a bleached, um, look so it's more white than it is the natural jute that you typically see and then just using some hot glue on the back to apply that. So as I said, these turn out so, so cute and you can do this in a couple different ways. So like I said, this is just the natural popsicle stick. So a more neutral look, but you can also take some brown acrylic paint and give them a coat of that. So they look a little bit more like stained wood or even paint them with acrylic or chalk paint to give your ornaments a little bit of color. These make for the quickest, most easy, and also incredibly inexpensive ornaments for your Christmas tree, but get creative with these and you can also use them in a lot of different ways too. I would love to hear your ideas, so leave me those down in the comments below. How would you use these printables for your Christmas crafting? 
There's also a couple free principles to help you get organized for this holiday season. One is a wish list and the other is a shopping list. So this wish list, again, you can just use your paper trimmer and cut it out. I added a little line at the top of these so that you can add in someone's name or even make a list for them of the things that you've purchased for them or give this to them so they can fill it out and then you can check off those items as you purchase them. I also created these wish lists the right size to fit into smaller size planners. And all you need to do is just take a hole punch and punch out the holes. That way you can slide your wish list right into your planner. The Christmas shopping list printable is the same size as the wish list, so you could also insert these into a planner or you can add them to the front of your refrigerator or into your bag so that you can carry your shopping list around with you. But again, you just wanna trim these down with your paper trimmer or scissors and you can add whatever you need to your shopping list as you come across them, whether it is Christmas shopping supplies, dinner, meal planning and prep, or even your Christmas gifts. Next up are these circle cutouts and these are multifunctional and I have several different ideas. I'm going to share with you how you can utilize these down in the link below. You'll get a set of 12 of these and the first project I want to show you is sort of a really fun one and this is a circle scalloped punch and I will link this down below too. If you don't have one of these, they are so fun to have in your craft stash, especially if you love paper crafting, but especially at Christmas time for things like this. You just flip it upside down so you can see where you're gonna be cutting and then it gives you this really pretty finished look and you just go through all of these and punch each one out. So the first idea I have for you is to just take a hole punch and punch a hole right into the top of these. Add a little bit of Baker's twine. I love this stuff. I'll also link this down below too. I just get it from Amazon and it lasts forever and ever. And it's great for Christmas crafting because it's kind of that candy cane look. You just add that right onto your punch outs and you can use these as tags for your gifts. Another idea is for card making. So if you love to make your own handmade Christmas cards, you can use them as embellishments. These are cute for cupcake toppers too. These are red and white paper straws that I cut in half. Again, I'm using my paper tape runner to add some adhesive to the top of these and pop those cutouts right on top, pushing them down so that they adhere and stay. And then you can add these to your Christmas treats. I know everyone kind of has their own preference, whether they like chocolate cake or they like vanilla cake. I would definitely say I think I'm more on the vanilla cake side, but let me know down in the comments below what side are you on, chocolate cake or vanilla cake? Next up, we're gonna make the cutest set of gift tags. This one, it's better to kind of just use your scissors to cut these out as we have a star. We also have a circle in there. So for this, definitely grab out a nice sharp pair of detail scissors. Mine I get from Michaels, they're my favorite. They have little points on the end, so they do really well with cutting out fine details. Again, you can just punch a hole into the tops of these tags, add some Baker's twine or ribbon and add them to the top of your gifts. Now 
Now we have to make something for Santa, a little placemat for all of his Christmas Eve treats and goodies. So at the bottom, I have left a little line that says love and then a line so that you can add your kiddo's name or they personally can add their own name or message right here. And then I also wanted this to be a little bit bigger because we're just printing on eight and a half by 11 size sheets. So I took a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper, cut it down a little bit so I'd have a cute border around my placemat. I used some of that tape to add it onto the top. And then another idea here is to laminate this so that it's protected and you can use it year after year. And this is just something you can find inexpensively at Walmart to add onto the top. And then you can add all of Santa's treats so that he has a warm belly and his reindeers are happy on Christmas Eve. Also for the kiddos, I'm adding in a Santa letter here. So it's pretty much filled out. They just add in their wish list and then sign their name at the bottom, add it to an envelope and send it straight over to Santa. This printable is sized down to eight by 10, so we can add it as a printable piece of art that we can add to a simple picture frame. And this one is from Dollar Tree, but the copper just isn't gonna work for our Christmas decor. So I'm going to paint this with some silver lining gray chalk paint. Definitely check your stash and see if maybe you already have a frame in your home that would work for this, or hit the thrift store and find something inexpensive too that maybe you can add a coat of paint to if you need to. This one turned out really pretty. I love that light gray color. And then I've included a border around this printable so that you know specifically where to cut it out so it will fit perfectly inside your eight by 10 frame. So just adding the back onto this and then I thought I'd also embellish it a little bit. I found these felt snowflake ornaments at Hobby Lobby. They're $2.99, but then they were 40% off right now too. I just hot glued two of those onto the frame just for an extra added decorative touch. I'd love to see how you all utilize these. These are advent countdown numbers. So you can count down the days until Christmas. Again, I'm gonna be using my scalloped punch, but you can also use scissors and just cut these circles out too, or even use a circle punch if you didn't like the scallops. And then I also want to show you how I'm going to utilize these, but of course, get creative and use what you have on hand to create your own countdown board. So this is a chalkboard that you can find at Dollar Tree and I'm using some white paint pens and a red and green paint pen to decorate it up. I wrote days until Christmas, added some embellishments around the edges and then at the top I'm hot gluing on a simple clothes pin and that is where we can add our numbers and change them out day to day. Next is a printable that I previously showed you that says meet me under the mistletoe, but in case you missed it, I wanted to add this in here too. And I'm just cutting this out with scissors and adding it to the inside of a inexpensive Dollar Tree framed wood piece and kind of took it apart and just made it really, really simple. So you can also utilize this however it works for you, but this was just a fun idea. Don't forget to check the links that I'll have down in the description box to all of these free printables along with some of the items and materials that I used for some of the projects that you saw here. Also hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you are new. I wanna thank you all so, so much for joining me here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage.